Israel, for Itamar, but also for myself, is a very important country. Tel Aviv is a very important city. Uh, not only important musically, but uh, for our personal life. Uh, I've been coming here for 24 years, uh, nearly every year, and uh, it's wonderful to take these great masterworks to Tel Aviv. Always a challenge sort of to concentrate over uh, one composer, but uh, on the other hand, it's also like, uh, like a journey. You start and then the music, uh, the musical development of each piece just takes, takes you with it. It would be wonderful to meet, uh, to meet uh, people of this, of this caliber. On the other hand, I might be too nervous to actually say anything. It would be stupid to prepare questions. When you meet Brahms, you start with a drink of red wine, you start feeling comfortable, no matter how great the person is, but to establish a human uh, relationship, and then one sees how the energies are. The, undoubtedly, it would be incredible, and we would be very, uh, I would be equally nervous mm. as you, but uh, who knows, we will, maybe we will still meet him one day. Maybe, <laughs> well, I'm sure it will. It I would be a, a, a soccer player. I wanted very much and I was not sure if I should become a soccer player or a violinist. This was for a short period that I, that I was seriously asking my parents when I was, I think, six or seven years old if, if I can do both at the highest level. And they sort of said, no, you have to choose. And actually, violin I never wanted to play. It's not my favorite instrument until today. It's the cello, then this is why I play viola, because it's the closest I can get to the cello. I would be a movie maker, a poet, and a professional eater. I love literature, poetry, I adore, I go crazy about cinema, and I absolutely love eating, and I have great passion for food but in general. Too. I have yes, food yes, but I you made your choice already. Actually, yeah, you have you made your choice, and you cannot be a football player and a great eater. It doesn't go <laughs> together. <laughs> but you can be a poet and a writer and still eat enormously, yes. wonderfully. Yeah, so it contradicts a little what you yeah, say. Yeah, but as a football player, yes. I would be retired already at my age. When you start to feel that it's all get becoming one unity between the musicians and the audience, the listeners. Then those moments which happen to me very rarely, you know, in its ideal form, they become absolutely unforgettable moments and some of the most joyous and deepest and most rewarding experiences. Of course, wonderful moment is after the concert, after a nice concert, when you want to share and just to you know, you don't want to go to sleep immediately after a concert. I think that we are extremely, extremely uh, fortunate uh, to be part of this, of this world of music, of, of sounds. Uh, it's sometimes an unex unexplainable, sometimes quite crazy, very demanding with all its ups and downs. We, many times it's as if we have to sort of open up our soul in front of people. We are able to be the messengers of these great, great composers. So I've, I consider myself to be uh, very lucky to, to be able to, to do it.